Hi guys, my name is Akshay. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we had learned to create a design file structure in SOLIDWORKS. If you have not seen that video, then the link is in the description below. In this video, we are going to understand the managing and naming convention of SOLIDWORKS documents file and at the last, understand the SOLIDWORKS explorer and its uses. So let's get started. It is important to understand the SOLIDWORKS naming and its file saving style before we start designing in SOLIDWORKS. Since it produces lots of error or mislead if we miss to understand these concepts. So not wasting the time, let's jump into it. I had made a simple PPT to explain those concepts. The first point is saving files. So in that the first point is documents are linked by the file names means the SOLIDWORKS document are linked by the file names whatever you are giving your file names so second is associated file will look for the path and the file name that is relative to their location means the assembly or the drawing or the sub assemblies will look for the path as well as the part name of that part or the any document which is associated with it so third point is copying a complete design to a new folder will not look outside that folder means when you are designing a complete design inside a folder and later you want to cut that folder from one uh, folder to another so you can do it so it uh, it may not disturb your design since you are doing it in a single folder so last point is don't rename your SOLIDWORKS file from Windows Explorer use the SOLIDWORKS Explorer we are going to discuss this SOLIDWORKS Explorer in uh, this video later so next heading is the random naming issues these are the issue which you are going to be face if we give the any random naming that is the accidental overwriting over an existing files the wrong file being loaded into an assembly or a drawing uh, difficulties in identifying the correct files the names to rename file which is done incorrectly can lead to the other issues the preventing the proper use of data management so these are the problem which you will face if we uh, go for the any random naming so for that uh, solution to that the last uh, point is naming convention um, I will show you the two naming convention that I usually use the first one is uh, let us consider uh, this is the naming convention actually the company projects and the part number and configuration okay so it is an example uh, that flow hive is a company name garlic press is the project and the part number is machine part 20 and the configuration is one so for that uh, for this whole uh, blah 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 you can give the uh, file name has this that the uh, fly uh, flow hive for the fh and for garlic press gp and for machine part m20 mp20 and for configuration it's one uh, it is like giving any shortcut name to your file Ah, and the second naming convention that I usually use is company, financial year, projects, part name and revision. So for this example, I have taken the Logitech as a company, financial year 2021 and the mouse one is a project and the part name is a scroll wheel and revision. So uh, I have given the shortcut uh, file name is LGT 2021 and the M1 SW and 1 these are the file convention that i usually use i also made the other file convention as per my preference you can create your own naming convention as per your preference and try to uh, stick to those naming convention for the uh, better results and having less error uh, in the later stages for opening the solidworks explorer just go to the start menu and search for the explorer and you can find the solidworks explorer to that so here is the solidworks explorer just uh, its user interface is just like the windows explorer here you can find the desktop and you can expand over here so i have one my folder xss file which is saved to the desktop over here you can see so i have opened it into the solidworks explorer so i have uh, uh, folder name has hash 3 where the three document files are available that is 3.1, 3.2 and 3.3 .3. in SOLIDWORKS Explorer we have the 
option like the select in local tree pack and go rename replace and move let's see this option by one by one uh, select in local tree here you can find the info of the model like uh, when you have created document and its file location and all and property if you have added any property to it like material and all i have not added to it like reference is like uh, which part or which uh, like parts are reference refer to it or any like in drawings uh, where it used this uh, assembly is not used anywhere else configuration i have not made any configuration to it it's just a simple assembly so hyperlink and view so these are not of use so once again i go into this hash 3 so now you can see their second option is in pack and go pack and go is an option where you can gather all the related files with the assembly like parts drawing and it will make a duplicate of those parts or assembly uh, or it can compress to a, any single folder for uh, sending to anyone like uh, having those files to refer or make some any changes so this is the work of the pack and go so third option which we have seen that is rename uh, renaming in uh, windows explorer is different and in solidworks explorer is different if you rename in solidworks uh, sorry windows explorer it will encounter an error in the solidworks uh, because it is not linked with the windows explorer but it is linked with the solidworks explorer so you can rename over here that is uh, not of issue anything it will automatically update in the assembly as well as the drawing fourth option is the replace so replace is like uh, if you you can replace it with the any of other uh, part like uh, if you have made any different part of the similar part and if you want to replace this those um, updated part to the old one so you can come and uh, replace or uh, like browse like browse those part and replace this part okay and the last option is move option you can just uh, move those part to the any other uh, folder as well or you can uh, transfer any part to those folder so it will automatically update uh, those part uh, with the related assembly as it run. so guys this was all about the solidworks explorer and its ability and also we had discussed the naming convention and managing the files hope you have enjoyed this video then please do like and encourage also share with your friends and colleague if you have any doubts regarding this topic so please comment down below and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe and hit to the bell icon for the regular updates thank you so much